Hello everyone, welcome to the channel Health for All. The brain eating amoeba, as the name suggests, it's a microbe that has the potential to cause brain damage. Once it moves into the human brain, it can destroy the brain tissue and causes inflammation, swelling and death occurs within two weeks if no intervention is given. Recently, one person has died and another has fallen seriously ill after becoming infected with brain-eating amoeba in Pakistan where previously a lot of cases has been found in US, UK and other parts of the world. So what is brain-eating amoeba? The brain-eating amoeba, as the name suggests, it's a microbe that has potential to cause the brain damage. The name of the amoeba is Nigleria fowleri, which causes primary amoebic meningoencephalitis or PAM with a 90% incidence of fatality. Once it moves into the human brain, it can destroy the brain tissue and causes inflammation with increased CSF pressure and swelling. Where is the brain-eating amoeba found? The amoeba is uh, naturally found in warm fresh water that is pond, river and lakes. The amoeba can be found in the water and prefers warm temperature. Risk factor includes freshwater swimming, using contaminated tap water, dust exposure, soil exposure, etc. The next thing that we need to know that how does the brain-eating amoeba enters to our brain? This amoeba is most often found in warm fresh water around the world, especially during the summer months. The amoeba enters your body through your nose via contaminated water, mud, dust and travels to your brain through the nerves that transmit your sense of smell. It does not cause any infection at the time of the infection occurs if it is swallowed to the mouth. So what are the symptoms? If you have the Nigleria fowleri amoeba in your brain, symptoms are likely to surface within a week of the infection occurs. You, you can say this is the incubation period of the infection that causing the primary amoebic meningoencephalitis or PAM. The initial symptoms of PAM include severe frontal headache, severe nausea, fever and vomiting. Stage 2 symptoms can be severe includes a stiff neck, seizures, altered mental status, hallucinations and even coma. The symptoms worsen very fast and if the infection is not diagnosed as soon as possible and the proper intervention is not given, death will occur within a week after appearing of the symptoms. So how to diagnose the infection? Infection with the amoeba is usually confirmed through a laboratory test of the cerebrospinal fluid or CSF. The fluid surrounds the brain and the spinal cord. Along with this, individuals infected with the brain-eating amoeba can be diagnosed with a CT scan or MRI. These are types of imaginary or radiological testing which will help to get a clear picture on where the amoeba has caused the damage. Treatment of brain-eating amoeba. Although several antifungal drugs have been effective against this amoeba in the laboratory settings, but in real life it's still very hard. But the infection is still almost fatal. Most patients that are alive when they were diagnosed is only based on the symptomatic treatment with extensive supportive measures like ventilation. So as there is no such treatment we have before going for swimming or contact with the contaminated water, pond, lake, mainly in the hot summer months is very risky. Take precautions for your children and young adults like while swimming using the nose plug, holding your nose shut or keeping your head above the water. But if you experience the sudden onset of fever, headache, vomiting or stiff neck after being exposed to the fresh water or swimming in the fresh water, it is recommended that you seek medical care immediately as the cases of brain eating anima are rising. So that's all for today. Hit the like button if you feel the information is life saving. Share with others and subscribe to the channel for more information. Press the thanks tab or join us for charitable cause. See you in the next video. Till then, smile more, be happy, stay healthy, take care.